Welcome back, everyone, to t t t t t t Don't put in that many T's. That's actually not the name of the event. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> it's a scam that was a very just for your social security. <laughs> that was a stream of conscious. Just <laughs> like it just happened. You saw it like that's what I'm just like. I don't know, man. I don't think about what I'm going to say at all. <laughs> t one dot done. An awesome two day charity speed running event all put together by my one my only my beautiful favorite person in the world nuclear she has assembled a team with a very specific tool set of they can <laughs> play video games kind of fast i don't know it was, it was weird like that's what we were looking at the avengers assembly uh, <laughs> Initiative. I can't think of the word. Um, but yeah, we are raising money for JDRF. What does that stand for? The Juvenile Diabetes and Research Foundation. Raising a lot of money for people dealing, especially with type 1 diabetes. My wife, Nuclear, she does deal with type 1 diabetes. Celiac herself. So from many, many, many standpoints, we would love to make this event an absolute success. And it's doing great so far. We've already raised $1,625 for JDRF. That's Ooh. super sick. And we're going to see if we can keep it going. As my good friend Kizaron, known for all the Pokemon speedruns and whatnot, going to be bringing you something a little different and just a run I've loved watching you do at a number of different events, including Speedrun Coliseum last year, GDQ. We have got Ender Lilies. Keys, how you doing, friend? Oh, I'm, I'm doing great, and I'm super duper excited to play this game for everyone. I feel like Ender Lilies is one of those games that, like, went super under the radar because the day that it came out, the next day Nintendo's like, hey, guess what? Metroid Dread is real. So uh, everyone oh, is that? Oh, existed. that's unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, like, the, the timing was so bad, but this is such a good game, and it's usually on sale a lot. And they even have a sequel in the works. They have Ender Magnolia, which actually has a demo oh. out already. And uh, Emre actually played it today, and apparently it's really, really sick. But uh, we're, we're doing the full release of the original game here, Ender Lilies, Quietest of the Nights. Um, I'm doing the B ending of Any Percent, which there are three different endings. Uh, B is kind of your good middle ground of it's under an hour, but there's still a lot of really difficult gameplay. You're going to see very, like, 2D Dark Souls-like combat throughout this. Uh, Metroidvania, if you were unaware of uh, what this game actually is. Uh, I mean, the, the girl looks like an anime girl, so I guess the, the anime fans in chat rejoice. I don't... I don't... <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> yeah, woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> but I, I'm, uh, I'm good to jump in as soon as, uh, as soon as I get a countdown from my good pal Spike Fajita. You know what? Then let's dive in, starting from 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go! All right, so as you can see right off the bat, I'm doing movement tech. It's the best movement Ooh. tech in the world. You're just belly flopping. Hey, yo, let's go. It's really silly. So it's not an intended mechanic, but it wasn't really anything worth fixing. Uh, you can dive. Um, in fact, I'll just do like one right here. That's kind of what they expect you to do is just like the one flop. But if, uh, you, if you mash the dodge button twice as soon as you get close to the ground, it just registers a second one. So it gives you just that extra bit of momentum. Um, I think throughout this entire first segment, it saves, I don't know, like a few seconds at most if you're perfect throughout. I feel like every Metroidvania kind of starts that though, right? It's Yeah, there's, there's always like some silly movement tech that seems really counterintuitive. It's like, like, I'm, all I'm right, surprised you don't, I don't have take like damage. any of your tools yet. Mm -hmm. Saying, okay, this is this is how we get to work with it. But there's also like little things I'm doing here and there too. Like whenever I grab a ledge right there, I'm I'm mashing the heel button and then mashing another button to not only climb the ledge a little faster, but cancel the animation. Oh, that's sick. So like right there, instead of doing a climb, I just immediately went back into a jump. Other than that first bit of damage that I took on purpose, this has been damageless so far, which is kind of nice. I, like, I lied. Let's go. It's no longer damageless. Dang it! All right. <laughs> I was like, also we're doing a speed run and a damageless run. Crap. Because yeah. this game always looks brutally difficult whenever you've shown it off. Yeah. So, like, it's it's one of those games, just like any other Metroidvania. Ironically, the the longer the category, the easier it actually right. is because you have you all your tools, stuff. you have yeah. extra health. Yeah. Whereas, like, there's. I would argue that this is probably the hardest category, honestly. Oh, really? um, ending C does have like the most difficult segment in every single Ender Lilies category, but this is an extremely hard category because you're going through with very little health. 
Um, one of the last areas actually has like a poison fog effect, and uh, you're not going to have the mask to uh, reduce the damage. Ow. So this is the first boss already. Kind of just a skill check. See if I can get the animation skip. Kinda. That was like half animation skip, so not 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 a bad start to the fight. We're into the second phase. She gets big. She gets big. Oh yeah, that's this boss here. But something you might notice that I'm doing is getting hit. Uh, so something you might notice me doing here is if you look at the bottom left, I have like kind of an inventory, and you see it kind of shuffle around a little bit. You can actually reduce the cooldown of your moves. Like here's the combo. And then here's the combo with okay, never mind. There's 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 a cutscene. I'll show it off after the cutscene. Uh, yeah, I was one. I was seeing it shift through. That. I was like, is he canceling like animations and stuff? Mm -hmm. I and love there, that there's stuff. a lot of like minor things like that throughout. So just as an example here, here's if I just mash. There's that little bit of a break there, but if I juggle, it's immediate. Oh, it comes out like frame one. Oh, that's yeah. sick. I love her dive so much. It's like if in Mario in 3D Mario, he, there was no rollout afterwards. He just went. Ugh, <laughs> yeah. Ugh, <laughs> yeah. Her her movement does not get any more intuitive. We went from having no double jump and having the belly flop twice on the ground to just going for big, you know, dolphin Huge arc belly, belly. flop. Just those hurt. That is a red mark on the stomach every time. Yeah, the fact that she she stays in a white dress is like impossible to believe right. because you you can <laughs> tell that she she is very red there. <laughs> now, gamers, I do want to remind everyone, everybody sending at home, like, all right, well, for this one, we're done with the uh, twenty five dollar beans for the day. Bean Boozle will be back tomorrow during both Andy and Kelsey's runs. I imagine both of them having to do the Bean Boozled stuff, yada yada. But what you can bid on right now is to have a one on one date with me. Oh. It's gonna be sexy. No, you can get you can auction for it actually. Exclamation point auction. Currently, I believe the lead bid for that, I believe, is $50. So if you go at least $51, you can get in for that. I have learned to speedrun many games. I've learned to uh, learn a bunch of different randomizers and whatnot. If you would like an hour-long one-on-one talk with me to, like, learn some tricks in a speed game you've always wanted to get into or learn about some randomizer stuff, there's a ton of knowledge she's always taking about randomizers. Or, you know what? If you just want to, like... I don't know, watch Food Network for an hour with me. We can do that. It is totally up to you. Whatever you can paint your own coloring book. One hour with me. Get in for those auctions. Get them in. And once again, we are raising money here for JDRF. So if you've got anything to give, even if it's a dollar, five dollars, anything like that, throw down. We would love to get there. And at $2,000, every $2,000 on the way to $10,000, we will do a drawing for an X rocker headset that would be super sick for whoever gets into it i tell you what whoever wins it just give it to me because i want those on my head they're very good so hell yeah keys i love you buddy thanks for joining us oh, i love that? you too buddy i can't believe it's only 50 dollars right now <laughs> right uh, imagine getting a cheap date with spike like that, that that's Absolutely. easy that's easy just 51 dollars i'd uh, do it right it. now if my hands weren't on the controller with me holy crap. oh boy <laughs> It's a little bit of a movement flop. flub there, but you know, no one would have known if I didn't say it. Uh, you're supposed to take Dude, the upper path instead the of the truth, water. <laughs> I actually have mad respect for any marathon runner who's like, so I messed up there. Because if you didn't say anything, no one knew. Like, right? Yeah. Pretty <laughs> flopping everywhere. Yeah, every Everything looks intentional. It really mm. does. Especially with a game like this where you don't really get to slow down. Uh, it, it's been really fun learning all the different categories of this game and just playing it in general because, as you mentioned at the beginning, I'm, I'm definitely a lot more known for Pokemon stuff. In fact, right. when it comes to, like, GDQ, I think this and Forbidden Memories are the only two non-Pokemon runs I've done for GDQ. And Forbidden Memories is just angry <laughs> Pokemon with, with cards. Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> No, I always love that because it's like, there's a lot of times, I I think people, and you probably, you understand this. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of people who probably like underrate RPG speedrunners of like, well, they're more like, it's more like knowledge based. It's not like necessarily a lot of Twitch skill and whatnot. I'm like, I don't know. There's a lot of speedrunners that I know who do a lot of RPGs where I'm like, if they did a more like Twitch based 
speed run. I'm not talking about the website, like, you know, your your Twitch skill, your movement and everything. I'm like, mm -hmm. I think they would do really well. I think they would lend themselves to it. Was this one of the first ones you've ever been attracted to of like the Metroidvania genre? Yeah, in fact, I actually straight up never played a Metroidvania in my life until this game. Uh, it was really funny. My first date with Emray, uh, they got an email from the devs of this. They were like, hey, would you like a copy of the game to review it? And I watched the trailer and I was like, this is really cool. I'd love to play that. So they emailed them back. Hey, can my boyfriend also get a copy? <laughs> so, so now here, here sure. I am with this. And the really cool thing about that, too, is, I mean, a lot of people know Emre for like Hollow Knight and whatnot. Uh, uh, a lot of the routing in this game, even to this day, has a skeleton of some sort that Emre was involved in, especially yeah. the completionist categories. Like 100% still is like 70% of their original route. It's really cool. Yeah, I mean, you say, like, you know, like, come on, you literally sit on benches in this game. I mean, like, yeah, I was like almost surprised Emre didn't run it with you in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. Cause like, yeah, it is probably a very like similar mindset and everything to the routing of like a Hollow Knight, which is oh, an yeah. absolute monster of a game to try to route it all. Oh, yeah. And like compared to Hollow Knight, this game is super bite sized. <laughs> All right. Like it's, it's still a decently long game casually. And, you know, the 100% the run is still like around two hours. But that's two hours for a Metroidvania. That's that's pretty that's pretty short for 100%. Yeah. I was going to say in Emre's runs of uh, like, what is it like? It's like three billion percent in Hollow Knight. Yeah. I, forget, I forget how much it is. It's there's like, like 106, there's 112, there's the Pantheon, the blah, blah, five, uh, two million. It's like real time. It's like over three hours, isn't it? Oops, I did that wrong. Uh, Yeah, yeah. It's like three hours and I want to say like three and a half hours real time. I'm going to heal before I die here. This would be an awful place to die. Oh my uh, so I, I tried to uh, I tried to do like a tiny little skip there where I can break the door switch without having to go all the way, but I accidentally hit right and turned around and threw my ability the opposite direction. Oh, so that, rippy, dippy. So that was oops. Uh, something that some people might have noticed is I'm still doing those big like dolphin dives, but I'm also spamming my abilities every now and again. It's another one of those tiny optimizations where instead of taking the time to hit the ground and losing a couple of frames to getting up like that, I can just throw an ability and just immediately land on the ground. I, th this is what I love about any like very movement based Metroidvania, which the most of them are speed run. Is like slowly your first like, all right, here's the dive. And then slowly, here's the dolphin dive. And then slowly, here's you canceling those animations. Like mm -hmm. just as you go, the progression is so much fun for speedrunning. And now we already get into another boss fight, the Dark Witch Elaine. Yeah, this is a, this is a fun fight because it's kind of the game's like shadow tutorial on the fact that there's fall damage. Um, the fun fact about this game is if you are at maximum height against a boss, um, they will lose, I think, 10% of their total health. So one thing I'm going to try really hard to do here is lower her stun meter, which is that second meter under her uh, health, uh, to a low degree to start this phase, which this is perfect. She's going to go to the absolute maximum height of this battle. I'm going to make her fall, and she's going to lose 10% of her health. That's it. And this is like a really important Aww. lesson to learn throughout the game because it just shows that the combat's more than just, you know, raw dogging it with a bunch of swinging and whatnot. Right. Like right there, she dies because she breaks her ankles. We got another boss that's coming up <laughs> after this. Uh, his name is, is Garrett or Gelrod, depending on which language you're playing. And he's, he's a big tanky boy. He actually has the second most HP out of any of the bosses. And uh, you really want to take advantage of that fall damage stuff. You're not going to get that big 10% because he's not going to go to the absolute top of the screen, but you are going to chip 5 to 7% of, you know, 14,000 health. That's so cool. I'm trying to think of like another game I've played where like you can cause fall damage. Like Souls games have stuff like that where like you can just make them literally die mm -hmm. by like falling off ledges and stuff. But like that's a very, very unintended mechanic. They try mm -hmm. to make sure they can't fall. Like they're like actually taking into account the timing of like your, your posture breaks and stuff. That's yep. so cool. Yeah, no, that's that's something that like I said, like it's it's actually an intended mechanic with this. They do expect you to know a little bit of a fall damage. I don't think they expect 
you know, the the speedrunner effect of taking advantage of it in the way that I am. Right. But it is it is definitely an intended mechanic, and it's a lot of fun to exploit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that very specific, like, routing of the posture meter and everything. Mm -hmm. It's one of those things that when this game first came out, you know, it was something that we were all aware of, but we didn't really realize how powerful it was. And then as the time started getting lower and lower and, t like, runners got better and better at it, we started realizing, hey, this person finished this fight, like, five seconds faster. What happened? Oh, he fell and broke his ankles. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder if that's why. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure that was a complete mystery. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm just getting faster times. Like, uh. Mm hmm. Now, Keys, I know another game that I say game, a thing that you've played a lot of lately is Archipelago. Oh, or yeah. as my good friend I at your pie would say, Archipelago. Or <laughs> it's. It's something absolutely toxic. It's good. Um, have ha, has Ender Lilies become a part of Archipelagos? Not officially, but it is in there, and it is a lot of fun. Yeah, uh, any Metroidvania, I'm just like, ah, yeah, get it in there. Like they lend themselves so well to that. Yeah, and because because it's a Metroidvania and it has all those different movement abilities and whatnot, I mean, you can say this with any randomizer, right? Like, every single playthrough is going to be different, but it's it's wildly different how you would play this game in Archipelago. It's just a lot of fun. Just Metroid, Metroid style games in general. A lot of fun in Archipelago. Yeah, they're just they're just good. Ouch. So right there, you saw the heal animation starting. That meant that I, I did the heal cancel without successfully canceling it. Uh -huh. You see, I forgot to jump. You see, well, it was awful. <laughs> it was the worst. This is, a, uh, as I mentioned before, this is one of a billion different categories. There are only two categories that you actually take this upper path. Every other category, you take the bottom in some way. Um, so I'm trying to remember where the safe spots are. B is not the category I do the most. I'll admit that. Thank you for showcasing it. Of oh, course. real quick, gamer. We have got a... Oh, I've been wanting to sing this song for so long. We've got a $250 donation from Riptire420. Rip it through. Do, 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 do. You must rip it. When he comes along and donates, that's real cool now. Because he donates you an amazing cause. JDRF. They got them dollars. We appreciate you. Let's fight this boss. Jared. He went to Jared. Yeah, he's a he, he's a big tanky boy. <laughs> he also runs away a lot. It's kind of annoying. Look at this chunky man. But you, you can just kind of see like the where his health is. You can yep. see when he does that fall damage. It's just it's very painful for him, which you know, understandably so. Look at how look how big his thighs are. <laughs> well, yeah, he could handle that. He's a he's a thick lad. That's a really early start to the second phase. That's fine. Yeah, I imagine like a Souls game. It's got like a health range where he'll they'll potentially go into it. Yep. And sometimes it's incredibly early. It, it's supposed to be like you know like a third each time, but sometimes like the, they'll get in at that twenty five percent mark, and you're just kind of scrambling. But we just keep breaking his ankles over and over. This what is, would uh, you say is one of the hardest bosses that you have to do in ending B? Um, the last two bosses for sure, oh, because right. you're just you're up. dead in one hit. Oh yeah, I'll make him harder. <laughs> yeah, as mentioned before, the more you play this game and the higher percentage category you're doing, the more health you're gonna have. Um, but when you don't have enough health, it's basically just are you are you doing a hitless run? Kinda. <laughs> yeah. I'll bring him down. Keep clapping. All right. One oh God, more I love fall. watching this combat. It's so good. Oh, come on, Keys. I believe in you because I want you. There we go. This this boss, I, I have gone nice. to many, many casual streams of this game. And this boss is like the boss that gets people angry. <laughs> Because he, he does have a spongy amount of health, and even though yeah. once you get more comfortable with fighting him, you see the patterns and whatnot, sometimes it's still really hard to avoid the patterns, and you just, you don't get enough health at this point in time to really hurt him, like, and not, like, sponge things. <laughs> He's yeah, scary. I could see that one being a just, 
he just lasts long enough on screen to where, like, there were so many times there where I said, Keys is probably making this look a lot easier than it actually is to, like, dodge and, like, get him kind of in, like, almost like a semi-AI loop with dodging mm-hmm. those attacks. But you're also barely dodging each of them to where, yeah, yeah like, he just lasts long enough. He's going to get you a few times. Oh, my God! The absolute colossal ground pound! I love any moment <laughs> like that in a speedrun. So this is a recent tech that was found. Like, I want to say, like, two or three months ago. So the game actually stores that momentum so this thick floor you're supposed to go up much higher but i just barely tap it because i stored that slam oh that's yeah that definitely looks that's that is not how that's supposed to go yeah you just kind of go tap tap <laughs> mm-hmm. little, little knock knock who's there like it's one of those like it's it's barely a time save kind of deal it, it you're maybe saving like a couple of seconds in that particular instance but there are some areas throughout where you're going to save a lot more than that right unfortunately i won't be able to show that off in this category but there is a fun little sequence in a lot of the longer categories where you're going through essentially this game's version of an obstacle course Uh, and being able to store your slam like that saves so much time so you see you're picking up a number of items out of these chests and whatnot. Any in particular to kind of bring up what their, like, necessity is? Is that just items that allow you to progress through the game? Do they help you with your combat in any way? Yeah, so uh, anytime you see me pick up amulet anything, with amulet gem, amulet fragment, that increases my health. Um, uh-huh. I did pick up something called the Giant's Ring and something just now called the Freddy's Ring. Uh, these are relics. They're kind of like your charms. Like, if you're, if okay, you're thinking yeah. Hollow Knight... Uh, it's just your charm notches. The Giant's Ring increases your ground damage by, I think it's 7.5% in this older patch, which I'll explain that in a sec. And then the Freddy's Ring gives you a parry, which Ooh, the parry okay. is actually casually really, really good. Uh, speed run, the parry is super duper um, limited in its uses, but I'm going to use it to juggle this next boss. Uh, okay. And I, I love doing this juggle and good, good, good friend of ours, Mr. J Hobbs 296 has told me that that's probably his favorite thing to watch in this run is this juggle because you, you completely trivialize a boss. That's it. So I'm going to do something called spider skip here where I take a hit. I skipped basically five minutes of movement by doing that. Oh, because is it scripted like they're not supposed to let you past that point? Yeah, you're not supposed to get past there at all. You're supposed to go above and or below and all the way around. Uh, We have no capability of reaching that without a damage boost. So we just damage boosted and skipped a ton of stuff. Now this part, I am going to be a little focused because- Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's watch it. The Guardian Silva. And gamers, again, reminder, we are only $125 away from $2,000 and that first X rocker headset. That would be sick. The love coming in for Kizaron in this. These awesome speed runs. Yeah, so this is this is the juggle. <laughs> She's not the, supposed to be doing this. Oh, this is sick. Did you do this one for SRC? Yes. Yes, you did. Except it went horribly wrong because I had the oven mitts. <laughs> Wow, so that was just like weighted training right there. Yeah. yeah. All right, just a little bit more. Keep clapping, 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 keep clapping. All right, her health's low enough there. If she looks familiar, she looks exactly like the first boss that we fought way at the beginning. Um, This is her sister. That's that's really it, if you want Uh... lore. Except she's stronger. Obviously. She has big, big spells. Yeah, look. She hurts. Her claws are sharp. And something I haven't mentioned yet is um, it's not a statistic that you're going to see on screen. You'd have to pause to see it. But uh, this game works in what's called a chapter system where every major boss you beat, um, you increase the chapter of the game and that increases the difficulty of everything. So we are on chapter four right now because we have beaten three bosses prior. So she is very strong. She's very tanky. There are some categories where <clears throat> you fight Garrett as the fourth boss. And by some categories, I mean literally only 100%. But uh-huh. he's the fourth boss. So instead of like the 
12,000 health or whatever that I said. He has like 16,000 or something ridiculous. Oh, sweet Jesus. So like what? his oh. fall damage stuff is in incredibly important to try and take advantage of. Yo, you just went from level boss. six to nine. That was great. Oh yeah. And the level system hardly matters. <laughs> Okay, I was going to say, like a little is this one of those games damage. where, like, the levels aren't actually doing that much? Yeah, also, not like really you doing say, much. like, the, the bosses are effectively scaling with you. Mm -hmm. Now, this is, uh, I'll show this off real quick. This is why I'm doing an older patch. I'm on version 103. Uh -huh. So, as you can see, I can dash and Ooh. cancel it. Yeah. It's my fastest form of movement for a while. That's been fixed for a long time. Oh, because what is it doing? It's like a dash, and then you cancel it at the end. So it yeah, so this is this is what together. the normal movement is, and then this is what uh, it is with the older patch. But I'm gonna do a trick right here that if I do it right, it's gonna save me like ten seconds. And if I do it wrong, I'm gonna look like an idiot. Oh man, I don't know what I'm rooting for. Oh, oh for the height. Ah, oh, oh, there we go. go. So we transitioned right. to basically a hidden area that's going to have something called blight. Blight is like the, the currency to upgrade your spirits. Oh, so we've got 800 sick. of them. We are not at all intended to be here yet. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna, this we're is gonna like have... a late game pickup. Oh, yeah. yeah. So we're, we're going to have we're, we're going to we're going to have the big chungus. It's going to be great. <laughs> so you can get up to level six. So I have my two main forms of attack to level five now, which is going to be what we capped them out at. And okay. then um, we'll eventually do that with some other spirits. But this is going to save so much time. It saves so much time in terms of damage that it's worth the, like, 35 seconds or whatever it is to get it. Uh-huh. <clears throat> yeah, you'll just get it back on all the other fights later on. Yeah. That's super sick. Very good job on the skip there. Thank you. That's a, There's an easier version of that that I actually did show off at GDQ. And then, like... Three days after my run, I go to the Ender Lilies Discord and they're like, oh, check this out. This saves like 10 seconds. And I'm like, where was that? <laughs> what? Now where I was like that? an idiot. Dude, I swear. I was talking to Jay about it who runs Super Mario Galaxy. And he was like, there's this amazing thing in speedrunning <clears throat> where stuff always gets found after things happen. And maybe that's just like, you know, the run at like GDQ or whatever is like generating interest. I don't know what mm -hmm. it is or whatever event. But he was like, stuff never gets found when I'm doing like a grind for Super Mario Galaxy. Oh, yeah. It's always when I'm like off taking a poop somewhere. Like, right? Like, it's never. It's, it's true. Something. It's true. It's always Yo, when I'm the pooping. The funny thing about this game when it comes to like new, new discoveries and whatnot is for the most part, it's the Japanese runners, because there's a lot of Japanese, uh, Taiwanese, and Chinese runners of this game. Like, so, it, so, something in the water in Asia just makes them god gamers when it comes to this game. I am the only North American runner. Oh, yeah, I remember, like, GK, we were talking, like, GDQ prediction shows about it, and they were like, the funny thing about it is, like, this is, an, this is actually a pretty big speed run in any other country but, like, America. Mm -hmm. So, that was interesting, like... We were lucky enough to have you showcase it because, like you say, it's a very cool speed run. Ooh, we're gonna take an emergency heal. I'm actually gonna also take an emergency bench later because dying here would be incredibly slow. Yeah, I assume your save points are the benches. Yes. Yeah. And you know, like like Hollow Knight, that's where you get to do the vast majority of your stuff. I get to change my charms there. I get to change my the tax there. It's it's an auto save, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah. I, uh, we have not had the pleasure of watching you die yet. Uh, is it, uh, do you, is there like an equivalent of like souls or something you lose? That anything you drop at that point? Luckily, no. It's just okay. time. Your resource yeah. is time and also embarrassment. Yeah, it's like raw embarrassment. <laughs> so this is definitely a little bit out of the way, but there is an emergency bench here I can take. It's about a 20 second detour, if that, but I mean, better than dying. Yeah. For sure. The dying animation's kind of neat, I guess. You literally explode like glass. <laughs> oh! Maybe we'll get to see that this run. Ow. It's like you said, the last two bosses are like, you either play perfect or you die, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and this is one of those, uh, just like any other like Dark Souls game, this is one of those games where if, if your combat goes well, then it's not going to look like anything's wrong. If your combat goes south, then everything's going to go south. Like, it's, it's just a comedy of errors. Uh -huh. So you're picking up a ring back there. 
Yeah, so that's the Rickerous Ring. Um, as soon as I equip it, you'll see. But uh, if you look at the bottom left, I have that meter that it's now lit up. That's something that yeah. we got from the last boss. Uh, it gives us... It, it's called the last rites in this game, but it's basically just like the ultimate ability of your main spirits. And for color code purposes, if you look, uh, if it's pink, then it's a main spirit. If it's yellow, then it's a sub spirit. So that's kind of oh, okay. like your your visual indicator there. But um, yeah, now you can see like the pink spirits are glowing. There's like a little aura around them. Uh -huh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It, it, it gives them an additional attack that sometimes is like utility helpful and sometimes is very damage helpful. Uh, on this screen right here, that that uh, projectile looking one, the one on the right, that's going to be our main form of huge damage in this. Right. That that's that's a lean. That's that that's the witch that we learned how to how to do fall damage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is another emergency bench, but because I'm here anyway, I'm going to uh -huh. equip that ring. Now you can see I have two meters. One of them's not full yet. Uh, uh, okay. uh, once again, it's one of those things where it's. It's a little out of the way, but the sheer amount of time save you get from being able to do two ultimate abilities back to back is absurd. Right. Now, here's is it one skip. of those in optimal ending B runs? Would you not get them? Or is oh it no, like, you do not skip it. You do not. You skip do that. This at that's all. okay. That yeah, good. it's that yeah. level. It's not a question. Okay. Yeah. 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 So right there, I actually just used uh, an ultimate ability for the first time. I used a uh, Garrett's ability, which is one of those cases of. It's a utility ability. Uh, it doesn't really do damage, but it does a lot of stun, and it also has a long, um, long range of effects. So, like, you're gonna see it right here. Uh -huh. I'm also gonna try to use all my abilities in a way to where I can climb up this elevator a little faster. Uh, not exactly the best climb so far, but in fact, it's almost not worth it at this point. But I'm still gonna try. <laughs> yeah, for the swag, do it. You can see it all how it would chain together and everything, though. Mm hmm. Oh, so what was it you oh just God. said? Utility ability? Is that what you yeah, said? Yeah, utility ability. <laughs> Dude, can you say that again? Because that sounds so satisfying to my ears. Utility ability. <laughs> this one, your next utility <laughs> ability. That's all right. GDQ pre show. All right, we already got something. <laughs> I don't know what it'll do. We're, we're already doing the scripting. Let's go, baby. Mm -hmm. that, 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 uh, that elevator skip was not very good, but we're alive. That's that's uh -huh. a really common place to die in most runs. Because yeah, you I either, imagine trying to push that. Yeah, you either lose a lot of time because you're trying to push it, or you just die. <laughs> <laughs> I just die. You know, it's whatever. All right, so I'm I'm glad that we have two here. I'm gonna try to get an early hit in, but uh, I'll show this. So that's her normal ability. Her her ultimate ability is she shoots a bunch of them from a central area. Oh, he dodged the oh. thing. What is it, it? So there are two two possibilities for that right there. Either he charges forward or charges back. If he charges uh. forward, you start off with a huge amount of damage. I was gonna because all of them basically spawn inside of him and he eats all of it. Sick. Yep. <laughs> it wasn't sick that he didn't take it, but okay. Oh, you can kind of see it there, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. It also has a, a neat property where if you do it just right, it's uh, you actually get something that, I mean, it's it's called tracking. It, it's it's not really like, you know, a unique term or anything like that. But right. If, if he runs away, it'll curve and hit him. Oh, uh, okay. Which there's some bosses where that's massively huge and helpful. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I imagine a lot of these bosses can get like super dodgy. Mm hmm. A little get off me attack, a little power up phase. Oh, yeah. That's, that's his ability. Uh huh. Every single boss has one. Now he's going to be a little dodgy here. Another one of those fights is kind of a kind of a skill check. Uh -huh. Almost dead, almost dead. There we go. Nice, GG. So there's gonna be uh hit his ability that he gets, which if if some if anyone's noticed so far, every time you beat a boss, you get like a new movement ability of some sort. Uh, -huh. uh his is wall climb. 
It's just claw. It's Mantis ah. claw. It's, he's just claw. He's just claw. Yep. Which I'm actually going to take a little bit of a detour for safety here. If you go to the right, uh, it gives you your first thing that you can climb, which has this. A priestess wish. Priestess wishes he, uh, increase your healing ability. There's like oh, seven or eight in the game or something like that. I don't even remember. And is that the only one you've picked? Is that the only one you're going to pick up? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. There's a chance. <laughs> Probably. All right. So we're going to get uh, we're going to get some more of that blight, except it's going to be for our sub spirits instead of our main spirits. Uh, we can get it either with the hook ability, which you're not going to see in this run, or with the climb ability. So I'm going to stall out in the air a little bit, use the walls to my advantage, and get this big boy. 800 is the biggest drop that you can get of these. Uh, There's like five or six of them throughout the game or something like that. I don't need to upgrade it yet, but I'm going to. Yeah, gamers, I agree. If Keys, let's do a challenge run. If Keys goes deathless, we all donate. Every single one of us, you got a dollar, we donate. But I agree with this. If Keys dies at all, we all donate. <laughs> yep. We yep. all donate a dollar. Now, if you got five ga five dollars on you, gamer, those add up so fast. We appreciate all the bigger donations, all the Metis and Rip Tire and MSK and everybody throwing down stuff. But those five dollar donations, they add up very quickly. This is for an amazing cause. Then not only like obviously we want to support JDRF. But just, you know, it, it means a lot to our family. Nukes having to deal with type 1 diabetes her entire life. Nothing would be better. Let's, let's, let's just go out there and, like, let's find a cure. That'd be sick. So I don't have to deal with yeah. this crap. Let's do it. Oops. Now, what I did there, uh, I did a lot of, like, stalling movement and whatnot. Uh, it might have looked like it was pointless, or you might be assuming there was, like, a giant pit to dodge. No, I just, I jumped over a boss. Oh! <laughs> I just didn't want to fight it. Yeah, yeah, no thanks. Yeah, I, I mentioned before, so that that's just a mini boss, but I mentioned before we're going to be skipping an ability and an entire huge boss. Uh, the funny thing about that boss, his name's Hainier, he gives you hook shot. And what I like the most about skipping him is um, you fight him in ending A, and he's your last fight. <laughs> Oh. So you're, you're you're skipping one of the most important bosses in another wow. category. Wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's also cool that like that inherently just makes the categories a little more unique. That like it is going to end up being like a somewhat different set of bosses that you're going to go for, mm -hmm. including skipping the final boss of a different ending. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna try to get this. This is some emergency health, but you can never have too much health in this category. This is one of those things you can kind of see like that little like lamp that's like to my left right yeah. here. Yeah. That that's that's what you're supposed to be hooking. That's something you're supposed to have hook shot to get. I say no. I say no. Gamers, we've got $125 to go to get to that first headset. Dang it. I want to give it away. Can we get a $5 hype train? I would love y'all so much if we could get a $5 hype train going up as Keys is moving in to the final battles of Ender Lilies, Ending B, where apparently everything's going to be one-shotting this man. I love it. I love the thought of it. I love the thought it's of this so man scary. gaining around it or failing miserably. Either way, it will be good. Again, I'm not supposed to be here. I'm supposed to have Hook, but here we yeah. are. Yeah, <laughs> you can. One of those like you watch those speedruns, you can like you're not supposed to be doing this stuff. Twenty-five brave souls with five dollars. This fight can be scary because he can one-shot you, and I'm being very aggressive. Right up in there that grill. There we go. Oh, let's go. Oh, that was actually God. a really good fight. What a slaughter! That was incredible. Yeah, so the gimmick about this area is a lot of the enemies have shielding of some sort. Uh, so you're expected to use either like charge shots or hit them from behind. And that's going to be a really annoying thing with this next boss that's coming up. This is an actual main boss. Uh, probably my favorite boss, not in terms of fighting, but in terms of the lore of the game. His name is Julius. It's spelt like Julius. And uh, he he's the bastard son of the former king. 
and he worked his way up the army so he could assassinate the king. <laughs> like oh. he, he was not happy that he was abandoned, so he went through <laughs> great lengths. I respect it. <laughs> Real quick, two shout outs right here as we're nearing the end game. We got another $55 from Rip Tire. Instructions unclear. Donated $55. All right. Well, that's 11 of them right now. We need 14 more at $5 or happy I want to do it. We are close, gamers. We need another $70 in order to reach that 2K. And shout outs to Zelda Speedruns for the raid. What's up, gamers? I'm Spike Vegeta, and we are doing a bunch of awesome speedruns, including Keys right now doing Ender Lily. Knight Captain Julius the Battle. So right there, what I did, you, you might remember the last boss we did. I was just able to use the ultimate ability on top of him just fine. Him, his hitbox is too small for it for some reason. So you got to do some fancy stuff to hit him with it and get uh -huh. that tracking that I talked about before. Uh -huh. yeah, very, positioning. very important. He will also one-shot us. <laughs> I need to be careful. I, I, I believe that. They just look heavy enough. Ooh. Yeah, as you can see, it curls. Very important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once we get to his next phase, he won't have the shielding, so it's going to be a little easy. Ooh, he did his weak attack. We're alive. Oh, we shouldn't he, be. He had mercy. <laughs> yeah. He wants people to donate for charity. I'll, 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 I'm a throw for, I'm a throw for charity. Yeah, he understands. Yo, we got five dollars from Toku Hero. Five dollar hype train? Question mark. Can we keep it going, gamers? Keys is throwing down on Night Captain Julius here at T1 Dumb Charity Event, raising money for JDRF, trying to knock out Tap One Diabetes. Let's do it, gamers. He's down to the final 10%. Uh oh, just clapping those back cheeks. As opposed to the front cheeks, I guess. I guess we have cheeks in the front, so that does work. Oh, I, I can't even pretend. Oh, how? I can't even how? pretend. How are you alive? I, I Let's go. What was that? I should be dead. <laughs> that was like a frame perfect dodge. My heart. Unreal. Oh, my goodness. Oh, so, okay, you might have noticed I did not use my ultimate ability at the very end there. It's for a very, very fun little skip here. As I mentioned before, sometimes you use these ultimate abilities for utility. So we just beat him, and we're going to use his ultimate for a neat little shortcut. I can just remember which spot. It's this spot. Cool. <laughs> now we're going to the most dangerous part of the game, too. So he gave us movement where we just kind of ride him like a horse. But this is the time hey, save. <laughs> he has, he has blasts, blasts through. We get that lever. We don't have to go all the way around it. I think it's actually legitimately like half a minute of movement that you save. Oh, my doing that. God. And then you can also just fit over that. <laughs> I, oh. <laughs> you, you, so, you don't oh, need you levers. did clip through the wall? Or the, nah, there's just space yeah there's literally just enough space it's silly <laughs> that's so funny this point this area looks beautiful though those I'm things are capable of one-shotting me oh, i feel like that. me saying i can be one shot is not news anymore so i'm actually just gonna stop saying i can get one shot <laughs> just assume i can get one shot <laughs> Pickalax Alt with the $5 donation. All aboard the $5 hype train. Marshmallow saying, get on with me, gamers, with the $25 donation. Oh, gamers, we are so close to that first X rocker headset giveaway. We need $35. A, we need a brave seven of you to band together. A band of brother, sister, whoever the hell. We can get some cousins in there, the, the moms, the papas, dogs. Get them in there. We can do it. Oh, that, was a, that was a big drop. Holy buckets. Okay, as you can see, my health is draining. Yeah, so there's, you're not there's to be a. Here. Yeah, you're, you're not supposed to be here unless you have something called the Heretic Mask, which oh, we, uh, we don't have because that wastes time. Now, you don't normally how, how go over here, but this is another one of those emergency benches. I'm trying really hard to make this a deathless run. Deathless runs of this are very hard. <laughs> oh, 
my goodness. Yeah, so the, the mask reduces the amount of damage you take from this fog by 90%. Oh, you still take damage. It just, yeah, it's severely nerve set. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! <laughs> Every time you ground pound, <laughs> I'm gonna take a nice safety heal here. It's like the way this works. You can only take damage to the smoke. If anything ever like tapped you, you would just die. Keys, yes. you're so cool. You're such a cool gamer. I love you. Oh, thanks. Okay. Those, those, those big things are so scary. Oh, They're so they, dangerous. They look putrid, dude. All right, we just gotta take this. Unfortunately, there's no way to speed this up in this category because we don't have hook. Hook saves so much time. Ah. Uh, Instead, we have to <laughs> wait to get to this point. I see. Yeah. So what I'm doing right now is there's two levers you have to pull to get access to the elevator shaft that takes you to the actual end game. So this is the longest of the two. I'm gonna pull this bad boy. We're gonna get out of here before we die. Woo! Normally you would end up back at that that previous bench I was at, but because we took this for safety, we have to take a little bit of extra time to go ahead and get out of here. But we didn't die. <laughs> That was sick. God, that anytime I like do a menu as something is like about to clap my cheeks in any of these games, I'm just like, oh, gamers, oh. we just got a $25 donation from Dupid. I'm so excited to see this event being put on. Congrats, Spikes. Spike, I, I, I read that incorrectly. I just want to be clear about that. It was not written correct. It was not written incorrectly. Congrats, Spike and Nukes on being able to put this event on. And thanks. And thank you to everyone for putting in the time and money to support Dupid. Thank you for the $25 donation. Oh my goodness! Wait a minute! I have to hit the refresh button again. Have we done it? Oh, I think we did it, gamers. $100 from Sean D04. He's gaming! That's right. Keys has brought the hype with how yes. powerful he truly is. That is $2,000 and an additional 90 we're already 90 on our way to the second X Rocker heads X Rocker headset, and we'll be doing a dry a drawing for that, I assume, very soon. Hooray! Gamers, Hooray. the announcement in the chat. Get into the drawing for that. Get in, gamers, get in. Thank y'all so much. Already over two thousand dollars. Y'all are crushing it. You're jacked, you're cracked, you're stacked. We're watching some cool stuff. Heck speakers. yeah. This man's still deathless. How do you how do you do these? So what yeah, what is it what is it like to be a great gamer? Uh, I, I wouldn't know. Oh yeah, I just. I, just, I, 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 I know I wasn't implying. I was just I, like. I, yeah, yeah. I, I do enough to look okay, but that's that's why we're on the interview team. <laughs> well, Y'all have the real good gamers. faces. Good faces, <laughs> good voices. That's all we need you to do. Put all right, ex so. Put put. Uh, not exclamation point. This this fight is hard, and the hitboxes are actually disjointed in this older patch. So, if I can do this without dying. That'd be cool. Big boy, Muriel the Beloved. Nice big hitbox to have those sit in. Nice. This boss is so scary that even though I took a tiny bit of damage there, that's enough for me to want to heal it. So, <laughs> Woo. yeah, where it's you're either topped off or you are very one shotable. Mm hmm. on the ground big chunks big punishment and this phase is really scary because she can do that ground claw thing multiple uh -huh. times in a row she didn't this time i'm not going to complain about that oh she's going for it she's trying ah ah, <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh clap it smack it let's go gamer unreal I can't believe I didn't die there. <laughs> Two bosses in a row where I really should have been hit and Woo! killed. But... All right, so we have one final area to go through, and it's really quick, unless I die. Uh -huh. And then we have the final boss, which is, oh, relatively quick, unless I uh, die. <laughs> sure, unless I die. <laughs> so because we skipped that boss that has the hook shot, I mentioned earlier that this goes on a chapter system. So this final boss is actually weaker 
in this category than any other category that you fight this final boss because of that because we're missing one chapter we are in chapter eight right now whereas you're supposed to be chapter nine. Oh, these fish can one shot me so i gotta i gotta dodge projectiles i gotta dodge creatures i gotta Ooh. figure out a way to not die i'm so emotionally invested i want you to know <laughs> now i am killing these guys because since i don't have hook shot we have to climb up this a really slow way uh-huh and you need them to not be freaking with you the whole time yeah exactly all right there we go now this Nicely guy can hit done. me through the water, but uh, that that should be that should be most of the the problems gone. Mm -hmm. Should be. If I, if I were to die at this point, that'd be kind of embarrassing. <laughs> I, <laughs> this, that's it. Never happened before. Moment we're working towards. I love the drop right there on like when that acceleration hits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it stores your momentum when you push against the wall like that, so it actually just maintains that. That's cool. <laughs> All right, and this is this is the final boss. Let's do it, gamers. We're gonna be giving away that first X Rocker headset right after this boss fight. Get in ha ha hashtag hype into the chat to get into that drawing. Let's go, the Blighted Lord. If you're interested in the lore, this is your mom. W what? Yep. <laughs> oh, her mom. Okay. <laughs> Surprise. I was you like, no. <laughs> give her a call. I don't What'd you do? Who are you fighting? So you guys right see me now? doing a lot of weaving because, like I mentioned before, those fish are dangerous. All right, we already got her down to half health. If this were a true ending, she would have a second phase, but because this is just B, we're only going to see this first phase, which is honestly her most dangerous phase anyway. She's spawning the fish. She knows the scary stuff. <laughs> I parried at just the right time to reduce oh, some of that. Oh, that was terrifying. Ooh. I should not be alive again. Okay, we're just going to safety heal. Oof. Kind of want to kill the fish right now. They're kind of in the way. Yeah, I was like, the fish look very poorly placed right now. I'm out of heals. No, the deathless is over. Oh, oh. the final boss. The we final boss. Away. We were Dang so dude. close. She looks so hard. All the ads, dude. Yeah. So the thing is with with the newest patch or just the newer patches, you use a different ability to fight her, which is overall weaker, but it takes out the fish at the same time, whereas the ability I'm using right now does not uh -huh, so you yeah. have to be really careful yeah i was wondering with how perfectly. the attack spread if it would also like perform some level of crowd control it looks like it does not it sure doesn't i'm just gonna knock out this fish real quick you know if there's ever a place to die this is this is a fine one. I'm not too sad about that. Yeah, I was gonna say I've always been a believer. I know like Hobbs talks about it as well. Like it's it's like optimal to take one death in these sorts of things, right? Just showcase like, yeah, this is how easily Keys could have been dying the whole game mm -hmm. and was being a gamer and not letting it happen. Like, yeah, this is brutally, brutally difficult. Okay, this fight's going a lot better than the last one. Yeah, attempt. I was like, man, she's like, listen, I had to get one dub for the game. Yeah. She didn't want it to look too easy. Like, I feel like at this point there were like five fish on screen. Oh, yeah. It, it was absurd. She's starting to get a few out there. Come here, fish. There we go. Come here, fish. All right, one more good attack like that, and it should be good. All right. And time will be as soon as I lose control. So literally any second now. And time. Time. Let's go, gamer. That was awesome. I will have you know that real time, if we didn't die, it would have been 49 something. If we yeah. take. Oh, yeah. You, I was like, you were like right at estimate. That's funny. if, if, because I have my timer up here. If 
we go off of load lists, which is what the leaderboards use to measure. I was at 50 exactly. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> so my man, you know what? And that's the new GDQ meta, right? You don't <laughs> yeah. want to come way under us. You want it to be right at the damn thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so perfect. Yeah. It's already built in. What category have you done for GDQ of this? I did all spirits, which is kind of like the, it's like the 100% light. So you fight all the, all the sub bosses, all the yeah. regular bosses. It's, it's kind of like, I mean, there's a boss rush mode now. But back then there wasn't one, but this also lets you play the game. So it's like the best way to kind of get like a bite size amount of a hundred percent run. Right. And that that usually I think my estimate for that was one ten and we got on like we got like a one oh seven or something like that at GDQ. Uh record for that is sub hour. Oh geez. Okay. Because yeah. it is it is a it is a the hard category. It's it's not as hard as this category, but it's damn close it's b and all spirits are the two hardest categories in this game in terms of surviving and getting low times right well you my friend abs i know you had the last of the end but like you absolutely killed it that and like all the skips and everything you got to showcase the general movement all over the place that run was super fun you know what's like a sign of a good speed run anytime it's like i've never played the game i love watching it there's just so much to easily appreciate about all the different elements of the game that you have to execute. So mm -hmm. super, super well done. I do have a $25 donation here from the one and only rip tire 420 saying, dang it keys. Cause again, uh, we're donate. You died. So we uh, got to donate yeah. gamers. Yeah. Ah, uh, so sorry. I was so close to the, the deathless donations instead. Right. We had another one end. here. Toku hero again, $25. I said, I don't know if keys died. So here's a dono GGWP. <laughs> Look, we, we, we had to let the final boss get one for the game. What, what can I say? <laughs> and let's go ahead and give an announcement right there. Nuke's talking about it in the chat. Lady Ray 85 congratulations. JDRF will be whispering you for shipping information. The winner has been drawn for the first of our five potential X Rocker headset giveaways. So big, big shouts to Lady Ray. Shouts to everybody for getting us over two thousand dollars and now the journey to four thousand dollars can we reach there by the end of the night i think we can do it keys getting the night portion started off real strong here coming up after this we have got jaxler coming up with whiplash if you never heard of that game it's hilarious it's 25 minutes it is worth your time and jaxler one of the coolest speedrunners out there make sure to stick around keys thank you so much for joining us buddy of course and i just i gotta say real quick one Keep supporting. This is an awesome cause, and it helps some near and dear friends of mine. So you'll make an enemy for life if you don't help. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, uh, but if you're ever interested in this particular game, my yes. DMs on, on Twitter, X, Zero, whatever the hell that site is called. Whatever the hell now. we're doing at this uh, point, yeah. And, and uh, Discord, totally open. I love teaching people a lot of the tech and whatnot, and it would be really nice to have a second North American run. <laughs> Please, please, I'm so lonely. My, Help me. Like every time you log on, everybody else is asleep. Like there's literally it, it, Japan, Taiwan, China, the, uh, one in Beijing. There's like three in Spain. I know Monsterler's doing it and Monsters European. There's no, there's no North Americans. Help me. <laughs> And this, honestly, once again, just like we've seen with all the games today, like, it looks like an awesome speed run. So, if you're big into, like, Metroidvanias and whatnot, want to jump in on uh, one of the lesser known, I guess, of the, uh, you know, like a Hollow Knight or a Metroid game or something, check it out. Game looks super sick. The combat looks sick. The movement looks sick. Keys, if people want to also just watch your content in general, what stuff are you working on and where can people find you? Other than X-Zero Twitter, whatever. Yeah, you know. if... If you can spell my name, you can find me anywhere. I have that name basically anywhere that's social media, uh, YouTube, Twitch, blah, 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 even the forbidden streaming sites that no one ever wants to use but exist. Um, I usually do Pokemon stuff, whether it's randomizers or speed runs. Uh, I've been in a really big archipelago kick. Uh, just love being able to play multi-world with friends who might not be able to play the same games I do. Also, it's just really funny to, you know, pick up a Pokeball and pick up an ugly baby for Stardew Valley. It makes no <laughs> sense, but you know what? <laughs> it's a lot you of fun. You found an ugly baby in the grass. <laughs> yep. Oh, God, I see why it's here. All right. 
And then also, you know, we, we made reference to it throughout the run. But if you somehow didn't know already, Spike and I are amongst a lot of the wonderful people that work with GDQ, especially on the interview team. So if you don't watch that many streams, but you tune in for big events, you'll you'll see our faces. We'll be there. We like we like we like doing the funny things. We're probably yeah. going to start working on that pretty soon. We need a games list. Then we'll get working on that. Should be coming out in the next like month or so. I forget when they are putting that out. I I literally lose track of every single deadline and date until Jeff messages. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a games list. Oh, sick. <laughs> All right. What'd you, what working. did you submit for it? I know you submitted FM. Yeah, I submitted Forbidden Memories as a race with Sky. We did that during the uh, the COVID GDQs where we weren't in person. We'd love to bring that in person for everyone because it'd be a really hype crowd for sure. And it's Forbidden Memories. I mean, it's going to be a good time. Yeah. Uh, I submitted a Pokemon map rando co-op with uh, the usual dum-dums, you know, shenanigans, 360, Chrism, yeah. ADEF. Um, I did Crystal Bingo with my good buddy Tyrant14. And then I also submitted Archipelago, which if that somehow gets in, that would be really, really cool. That would be cool. And I would, Archie I would be Pelago. doing Pokemon Emerald. You, that. Ruby, and Hobbs, right? Yep. 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 Yep, I'm definitely rooting for any and all of those to show up. Always the Pokemon ones are good as well. But uh, Gamer, thank you so much for joining us. Everyone, that was a wonderful, wonderful Super Baller run of Ender Lilies. Quietest of the nights. Make sure to check that game out. Check out Keys Are On. And when we come back, we're going into game five of, of our dozen runs for the event. It is going to be the one and only Jaxler thrown down in Whiplash. It's a quick 25-minute run. You will not regret sticking around for it let's we've already cracked two thousand dollars let's start the journey to four thousand we'll see y'all right after the break